Here's the condensate line that needs flushing. There's the trap right there. I'm going to flush that out with high pressure water. Here's the drain cleaning tool. I use the high pressure water from the hot water. The tool's shaped where it can reach right into the drain, like so, and then flush it out. Here's a video of what the drain looks like on the primary pan inside the drain. All right, yeah. right at the end and here it gurgle out and that flushes the drain out what it did is it went to the source of the drain it forces the water through the trap anything that's in the trap gets pushed out with the pressure and then it goes out the building so after I clean the drain, I put a cap on the valve, and that's uh, just in case the valve has any leaks. Here's checking the electrical. It's in good condition. The wires aren't rubbing anywhere. Hold that thing. So I checked the run capacitor. It's supposed to read five microfarads, and with the meter it reads 4.8 so run caps fine All right. so now I started the unit and I'm going to check the refrigerant level so you can see the air temperature is about 67 degrees and then coil temperature is at 57 and then as I go up on the coil still 56 the very top so the coil is uniformly cool all the way from the top to the bottom and uh, the refrigerant level is fine if it were to run low on refrigerant the coil would just be cool at the bottom or if it was completely out of refrigerant the coil wouldn't be cool at all and uh, if it's low on refrigerant and if it's cool at the bottom it's still trying to do the full two tons and uh, but it ends up causing ice because it's trying to do two tons on a little area you know that big and, uh, and when it ices up uh, then it blocks off the cooling completely so this is an easy way to check uh, refrigerant level uh, you can even do it yourself uh, if you feel the temperature of the coil you know with your hand and uh, but yeah this unit's fine on the refrigerant